Uh, that's the full moon for the month. It was the sturgeon moon too, which is uh, a local thing for the area. You know, they fish by night sometimes at the sturgeon mm -hmm. full moon, so pretty cool there. But now we get to see a lot of the sunshine, not just the moon for today. That's so, good. Yeah, looking forward to that. Sunshine, 70s on the way for the next couple of days. We're heading back into the 80s by the weekend. There is a chance we could get close to 90 by Sunday into the beginning of next week. So things are definitely going to warm back up. We're going from below average to above average all throughout this week. Here's a live look out in Waukesha right now. Notice a couple cars out there hitting the roadways, but a pretty quiet start to the day so far with those clear skies in place. Same thing in Racine. We have a couple clouds out there early on today out over Lake Michigan, but temperatures are starting off pretty comfortable. We're in the 60s by the lakefront 50s inland. There's definitely a little bit of a chill in the air. If you get out towards Watertown, Waukesha, West Bend and Beaver Dam, all starting off in the lower 50s, 59 in Janesville, 60 in Kenosha and 54 right now in Sheboygan. Just like what we saw yesterday, because our winds are out of the northeast, we do have a beach hazard statement. So once again, Milwaukee, Racine and Kenosha counties. This runs until the early afternoon hours today and also a small craft advisory until 1 p.m. this afternoon for the entire southeastern coastline here in Wisconsin. So we are looking at that playing a, a factor for today. But other than that, the high pressure off to our north just continues to sit there. This is pretty much the same spot it was at yesterday, and that keeps our winds out of the northeast for today. And all this rain, shower and thunderstorm activity you're seeing there towards the plains, it's not coming towards us. You see, it's a stationary front. That means it's not really moving, and that's because this high pressure is kind of blocking, controlling, dominating our weather pattern and that will keep all the rain chances off to our west. So this is the future rainfall map now through Friday. And you can see for the rest of the work week, really everything is staying west of the Mississippi. That's where the rainfall will stay. So we're going to dry out pretty quickly here over the next couple of days. Ground might get a little hard. You might need to do some watering with the lack of rainfall we have in the forecast. So high temperatures today, lower 70s, we'll call it. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies throughout the day. Heading into Wednesday, tomorrow we're going to keep more sunshine going. It will be a cooler start to the day tomorrow, but those temperatures start to warm tomorrow afternoon. We're talking mid 70s, so every day we're going to gain about two or three degrees with the temperatures. Today is the coolest day of the week, and then again, those temperatures start to gradually warm heading into the weekend. So 71 for that high temperature today in Milwaukee and in Waukesha, 71 in Kenosha, 71 in Sheboygan, maybe a couple 73 degree numbers out towards Whitewater and Watertown because our breeze once again is out of the northeast for today. But humidity stays very, very low for today and into tomorrow. It starts to climb late in the work week, and I can tell you by the weekend that humidity is going to be back in full force as dew points climb back into the 60s. So enjoy this cooler and drier air while we have it because you can see the temperature trend. It's almost like a scare staircase, right? You go up about three degrees every single day, and that led leads us towards the upper 80s by Sunday into Monday of next week, getting well above average. So the seven day forecast looks pretty good, though. Sunshine the next three days. Temperature is gradually warming through the 70s. Overnight lows a little cool in the 50s. This weekend gets warmer with high temperatures well into the 80s.